Hi everyone, this is Kona, and I'm going to go through what we're doing for week 8. So week 8 information. Um, so first of all, this is really, really, really important. Um, for this week, you will need Minitab. You will not be able to complete your project to part 2. Um, in addition, moving forward, we're going to be using Minitab every week for at least one, if not multiple assignments and all of your projects. So you have to have Minitab. Um, how you get Minitab or what you use for Minitab is completely up for you. So where can you go to access Minitab? Um, you can access it at Richland. Uh, it's in the tutoring center and in the library. So you can come here to Richland and use it. Um, also, if you have a PC, so this does not work on a Mac, but if you have a PC, um, you can purchase a six month copy uh, for $29.99 at, on the Hub Store. Uh, or you can also get, at least for now, a 30 day free trial. So if you don't want to buy it right now or you're not sure, uh, you can get the free 30 day trial at this website as well. But it is only 30 days and class is more than 30 days. So at some point, you will either need to buy, um, rent this version for $29.99, or you will need to come to Richland to use Minitab because I'm promising you we're using Minitab. So figure something out, but make sure, uh, I just want to make sure all of you are aware, you will need it. Um, so now to our study resources. So, oh, oh, study resources, sorry. So there it looks like there's a lot here this week. Um, and it's really not too bad. It's just I've compiled a lot of information and a lot of notes just because it's really important that you understand this, both for your project and just moving forward because this is where we really start digging in and doing real statistics. Um, the first few weeks we're just kind of getting you a background so we could actually do something. And I know that sounds silly, but this is where we really actually do stuff. So we've got these notes, we've got our websites, we're using the probability distribution calculator again, we are using Minitab, and we've got things to read, and then we've got videos, and we've got a lot of videos. So yes, I do know there's a lot of videos here, uh, but I promise they are really useful and helpful and should make doing all of your homework, your assignments easier. So for assignments, what do we have? Uh, we've got the Discussion 8 methodology. Now this one hopefully shouldn't be too bad because it focuses on the methodology of your project that we're doing in class, or not in class, but the project that we're doing for the class. So first of all, the methodology section of the paper focuses on the data and more specifically includes the following, what questions were asked. So these were the actual survey questions that you asked and what were the possible answer options. How was the data collected or gathered? Um, and for a survey, this would include where the information was gathered, how people were selected, and the procedures for gathering the data. Uh, and then the demographics of the survey population. So demographics are normally things like gender, age, race, ethnicity, but it could be other things depending on your project. Uh, for this discussion, we're actually focusing on the second part, how was the data collected or gathered? Uh, the reason for this is that the data we collect could be biased based on how the data was collected. Uh, for example, what if you went to your local uh, gun show and collected all your data. Well, I'm guessing people at a gun show might be a little more biased in regards to what they feel compared to maybe people at a peace rally. So um, it's really important that we understand where all of us collected our data just because we want to understand could our data possibly be biased. So in the initial post, explain how, and these are your procedures, and where you collected your data for project two. It's okay if you collected it in more in one place or multiple locations. The important part is that you provide enough details about the location uh, or not of where, so I'll have to collect that, or where you collected the data. So enough details about the location or where you collected the data and how you recruited, picked the people you asked um, your questions. So did you randomly pick out people? Did you only ask your friends? Uh, there's no right or wrong answer, but it's important to know this information. Uh, follow up after reading through what others have posted, reply to your own initial post. So this one, you don't have to reply to other people. You would just reply to your own initial post and provide a summary of how people collected their data, then discuss whether or not you think the class data, and that's all the data we're using for project two, is potentially biased or not. So do you think this, this data can be generalized to the general population of the US? What about Illinois, Decatur? Uh, you can reply to other people's posts with comments and follow-up questions if needed, desired. So if you need to, go for it, but you don't have to for this actual assignment. 
Okay, so then we've got chapter three, quiz two. Uh, for this one, it is, um, you need the probability calculator. Um, you'll need to read these things. Also, you really need to make sure uh, that you, hold on, for the study resources, you really, really want to go through that one proportion of hypothesis, hypothesis testing notes and uh, the testing worksheet. Um, so that would be these two videos because I really go through um, the things that you will need to know to be able to do this quiz. I just kind of promise you that if you don't and you just try to take the quiz, you're probably going to get really confused. So make sure you watch those first. Um, the next thing. All right, your project. So project part two. Project part two is actually coding your data. This is where we actually use Minitab. Uh, I do have a video. I both have it here and in the resources section. So it's just the same video, but I just want to make sure people saw it. But I do literally talk you through step by step how to use Minitab and how to do this project. So literally the video step by step shows you everything. But um, you do need to go through. You want to code the data that we collected last week. And then you're just uploading that coded data file to me so I can see that you've done it. Um, then project two, part three. Uh, for this one, you're actually talking about your introduction and your methodology. So the methodology should be pretty easy since the second part, at least the how the data was collected, you're already discussing in the discussion for this week. So it's almost like double dipping for this part. Um, for the introduction, what is the topic? What are your sources? Uh, briefly explain what they say show. Where, uh, what are the questions, this type of information, what do you hope to learn from this project? All the information that you need is right here, sources for project two. So this literally goes through the following resources uh, where the questions came from from our class survey. So I didn't just make up those questions that we used for the class survey. I did actually get them from uh, this source, Opinions on Gun Policy and the 2016 Campaign and Party Affiliation. So gender, I really didn't just ask that question, but that's because it's demographic. So you should be able to look at this source and this source, but it's mostly this source um, as your resources for um, this introduction. But um, feel free to do additional research or look up other sources if you'd like more information on the topic, which our topic here is gun control and political affiliation. Um, just make sure to cite your sources. But uh, this introduction and methodology this actually is the first part of your final paper uh, for this project. So writing this just kind of helps you not only understand why we're doing this and what we're doing, uh, but it also, you can literally then just take this and put this right into uh, your final paper for this project. So it's just kind of getting a jump start on your final project, or final paper for this project. Sorry, we have too many projects. but. Okay, so that's what we're doing for this week. Um, study resources looks like a lot, but I promise it's not too bad. There's your assignments, and I think that's it. So have a great week. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.